What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, flu test, or a test for some other virus, I hope you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues and no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Monday edition of the Out in the Wild virus update for Monday, April 14th, 2025. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. You clicked on the channel that gives you daily virus updates on all the viruses that can make us sick. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses out there and you need to be informed on each and every one of them. That's what I do here on my channel each and every day. Sometimes it's an out in the wild virus update like this. Most times it is a data filled update from home. So if you enjoy this update, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know and of course leave your comments down below Alrighty, surprise yeah we're doing one of those out in the wild updates we haven't done one in a very long time uh i ended up with work ended up in a further than normal area so i said you know what let's just stay out here for a dinner delivery time and let's do a uh, virus update out in this area so here we go i do have some notes that i did prepare for today uh first off in Ohio, the Springfield City School District announced on social media Monday morning that all classes are canceled. The district said this was due to a bus driver shortage caused by an illness. Now, they did not state, when I looked at the article, they did not state uh, what the illness was. So, I can't say what it is. You can take your guess. It could be norovirus. It could be flu. It could be the common cold. It could be the big C word, covid RSV could be anything, but yes, they are dealing with some sort of an illness. BNO yesterday, or last night, did release their weekly COVID update, and here it is as follows. Weekly U.S. COVID update. New cases, 100,457. Admissions, 7,032 people admitted to the hospital for COVID. In the hospital, 6,844. That's down by 7%. And the emissions were down by 11%, which is a really good number. In the ICU, 983 people still. Uh, new deaths, 472. That is below 500. I believe that's the same number CJS told us about the other day. Uh, average number of deaths each week is 710. That's down by 7%. Should deaths keep dropping, that average is going to continue to come way down. Here's another number for you. Philly EMS Sunday total was... 691 EMS incidents. And, of course, I need to remind you about Easter. If you tested positive for COVID now, you're not going to have enough time to be better or infectious. Just, if you're testing positive for COVID right now, please do not continue with those Easter activities, even if you're about to maybe test negative. Maybe the line's starting to get a little more faint. Uh, you could end up testing positive again a few days later. Symptoms could return or you could be in that period where uh, you don't know that symptoms are going to return. And you say, well, I'm fine now. And then you go to the gathering and then all suddenly, oh, wait a second, a day later, you're feeling sick again, you tested positive again. It's because the case, the virus wasn't done with you and you rebounded to the point where, hello, surprise, you're positive for COVID once again. Yeah, it happens. Happened to me back during the winter around the holidays. Already, we do have some Walgreens COVID numbers. I'm just doing the Walgreens numbers. I actually have a table here. Take a look at this. I actually have the positivity numbers from Walgreens. Uh, we'll do flu tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a data-filled update from home. So we're just going to start from the highest positivity rates to the lowest. We're not going to talk about if it's an increase or decrease. I'm just going to read off the positivity levels from uh, various different states. I don't know if it's all states. Uh, South Carolina, 29%. COVID positivity rate. That's pretty high. Minnesota, 28.6% this week. Kansas, 27.3%. Indiana, 22.5%. Oklahoma, 22.5%. Pennsylvania, my state, 21.4%. And we will pause there for a second. Uh, I was looking, I had to look at that one because I was like, whoa, my state's up to 21.4%. Uh, and yeah, there's a big rise here in Pennsylvania. Not a good thing whatsoever. North Carolina, 21.2%. Kentucky, 20.8%. And I got to remind you of something. 
Someone's probably getting ready to leave a comment down below. Wow, that's much higher than the CDC. Uh, it is, but mind you, Walgreens does not do a lot of testing. So when you're not doing a lot of testing, uh, then maybe it doesn't keep up with the number of cases. Yeah, positivity rates are going to come in higher. Where are we at? Kentucky, 20.8%. Texas, 17.9%. New Mexico, 16.7%. Ohio, 16.7%. New York, 15.1%. New Jersey, 14.2%. Georgia, the positivity rate is 14%. Alabama, 13.8%. Maryland, 13.5%. Tennessee, 13.5%. Illinois, 13.1%. Connecticut, 12.5%. Missouri, 12%. Washington, 11.1%. Wisconsin, 10.7%. Colorado, 10.2%. Michigan, 10.2%. Florida is 9%. Virginia is 8.6%. Uh, Mississippi, 8.3%. Arizona is 7.1%. Iowa, 7.1%, Louisiana, 6.9%, California, 6.6%, and Arkansas came in at 4% for a COVID positivity rate. All right, since we're out in the wild, I'll give you an update from what I'm seeing out in the wild. Not seeing a lot of coughing today. Am hearing some sneezing, but you know what? It's warm here. The trees, I don't know if you can see behind me, the trees are full of pollen. I'll try and show you there. Yeah, there, you know, take, take a look over, over this way yeah there's some trees there that are in bloom uh pollen's up but you know what allergy season is often a tough season with these viruses and not so much because of the number of people that test positive we often get this law in spring which we're seeing right now what makes it so tough is when you're dealing with the pollen on the trees and people sneezing you often wonder okay the person's sneezing is it because of allergies because of the pollen or are they actually sick are they infectious with covid and, you know, it's really hard to uh, figure out if they actually have COVID. And you know what? You just need to continue masking. And I will reveal the area that I'm in. I'm in Southeast Pennsylvania. As you know, I live in Southeast Pennsylvania. But today, I'm out in the King of Prussia area. And let me tell you something. Uh, I was west of here earlier, a little bit west of here earlier. I'm seeing less masking here compared to what I see back closer to the city of Philadelphia. And I'm usually just outside of Philadelphia in Montgomery County. I'm in a different part of Montgomery County. And I have yet to, yeah, I have yet to see anyone mask out here. I see one person? No. There's a grocery store chain here called Wegmans. It's rather busy. I'm sure I would at least see some masking in there. Previous experiences, I did. But uh, who knows? It is spring now. But over the weekend, or at least when I was out, I did see a couple people masked. And uh, last Friday, I saw several people masked because, you know, Easter is coming soon. And usually around the holidays, we see the increase in masking. But I guess it is not a thing in this particular area. All right. I need to remind you, of course, I need to stay hydrated because I'm out and about working, doing deliveries. So let's stop and take a hydration break and drink some water, shall we? Now, doesn't that feel much better? Felt better to me, and I hope it felt better to you. Already, I, I don't have much more for you today. Uh, I will say this over the weekend. I said I don't think Easter is going to cause a surge for cases. Nationally, no, but there could be localized areas that surge. I'm still watching New York City and New York State. That is one that is going to be on my radar straight through to summer because uh, if the summer surge there, which will happen in places, we don't know what the summer surge is going to be but if the summer surge happens like last summer which again each year is going to be different with this virus now uh new york state and new york city would start from a very high baseline so that is rather uh concerning not something that we want to see Alrighty, folks really that's it for today i'm not going to drag this out any longer when i don't have any other content of course i'll be tweet tweeting not tweeting I'll be tweeting on X later this evening, posting on Blue Sky. Follow me on my new Facebook page, Data Report. And, of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Leave your comments down below. Like I said, we'll have a data-filled update tomorrow from home. And given I've been out all afternoon and haven't looked at the news, uh, I got a feeling there'll be quite a few things to talk about tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably be the opposite of today because I know there will be measles updates. Uh, Tuesday, we tend to get the update out of Texas. Later in the week, it's anyone's guess, we may actually take a day off 
from the video this weekend if it turns out to be a slow weekend just because of lack of data with the holiday but we'll see doubtful you know me even today we're out in the wild i didn't want to miss an update so here we are i'll see you all again next time until i see you again next time stay safe everyone and have a fantastic monday evening thanks for watching